Today we're going to learn how to make a slideshow in iPhoto. First I have to open uh, iPhoto up. iPhoto is the one with the camera and also a picture in the background. Next we take and select a picture that we want for our slideshow. And I have it selected. Now I'm going to move over here and where the plus is I'm going to take and click that. Now comes a new window which gives us a choice of what we want to do with that picture. What we want to do is make a slideshow. And the name is going to be making a slide show. Once we have our name in there, we come down here and create. And there we go, we're off and running. Okay, now let's go back to the pictures and we're going to take and put some more photos inside of our slideshow. You could also take and select the pictures that you want and place them into one event and just make the event into a slideshow. In this instance here, we can pull from this here event. All we have to do is click and drag the picture down here and it becomes part of our slideshow. And I'm going to take another picture from here and one more from up here. So we have a total of four pictures within our slideshow. In order to see what we have in our slideshow, we just double click the slideshow and the slideshow appears to us. This is the picture that sits at the front of the slideshow. We can click them and place them where we would like to have them be. Okay, I'm going to put this at the end. So we'll have uh, people at the beginning and people at the end and some pictures in between. Before I select the theme, down here on the bottom we have a choice of themes, music, and settings. Within the settings selection, we have a choice of all slides or this slide. And depending upon what theme that is chosen will depend upon the selections that you have and the transitions that can be made, if any at all. First we're going to check on classic theme. We can have this slide show in black and white, sepia, or antique. Also we're going to check transitions and we're going to create a new transition here. Let's do a cube and the cube you have a choice to come from the from the left, from the right, from the top or the bottom and you will see how it presents itself. And the screen size we have 16.9 which is a good good size. Transition individual slides or you can transition all, all slides. And let's preview it. Now let's check out a different thing. Okay we're going to do the Ken Burns. Let's do the droplet and you can see that it'll transition differently than the cube did. do a shatter and with the shatter when you go to the settings you no longer have the transitions as you can see the shatter a portion of the picture is sort of left out next theme that we're going to do lighting panels once again, there's no transitions. Now we have another one that we can choose. It's called Snapshots. have one left it's called the scrapbook once again there's no transitions on this but you can set the amount of time that each picture shows you've got a friend in me you've got a Along with the settings feature, we also have a choice of music. So we can set the music that we want played with each theme according to our choice. Once we've selected a theme, we're all set to export our slideshow. You have a choice from a mobile device to a medium player, a large, large player, 
or a full-size display of 1422 by 800. Underneath the display size, there's a checkbox that when checked, it automatically sends your slideshow to iTunes. So then I choose export. It's storing the slideshow in iTunes Movies Library. Voila, here it is up here. If we click it on, there it is, making a slideshow. And now, you know how to make a slideshow in iPhoto. Once the slideshow is placed in the iTunes Movies section, you can gain access to the slideshow to make it into a movie, to burn it to a DVD disc. This is the storage place for slideshows, movies, and take in. Play it again.